Another research is showing that if you actually engage in any physical training, I'm not talking about using the machines or doing Olympic lifting, I'm talking about the basic resistance training in the early age group, okay? You're gonna be able to gain the model pattern, okay? Meaning that your neurological process as well as your muscular strength is gonna be higher than the other kids who don't do anything. 好，这个图更有趣了。这张图所显现的是呢，如果你及早的、早一点的介入肌力训练的专业训练的模式的话，事实上对你的肌肉神经系统的刺激、骨骼刺激，会帮助到你在未来成长的时候，你会产生更大的一个进步的幅度。跟你越晚介入的人相比的话，事实上你及早介入、尽尽快介入的话，你的产生的这个空间是比较大的。So in this graph. Very interesting to see that when you're in the early teenage uh, age, okay, if you engage in any physical activities and also any resistance training, okay, your improvement is drastically higher steepness okay, compared to others. And then when you get to the late teenage time period, okay, you're going to be very high okay, for, compared to somebody who just started out from here. Okay? And then when you look at adulthood age here, okay, this is where the big difference shows that the people who don't engage in any physical activities, you stop here. The person who started out on the later stage here, okay, and then the people who started in the early age, the physical capabilities are a lot higher than compared to those two. 好，这张图稍微再做更仔仔细的说明。如果你尽早的介入肌力挺的训练是这个蓝色的值，我们看一下，如果你尽早介入的话，到青少年阶段已经比在青少年阶段才介入的已经多了一个很大的一块的这个成长空间，但甚至到了成年阶段，这个差异更明显的。那如果你是没有任何，你做只做运动，你没有介入任何的肌力挺的训练的话，你看这个差别有多大？这这条红色线，虚线的红色线是指青少年之后才介入。这个是只介绍之前就介入的，所以这个差别是非常明显。所以由这张图证实了，及早的开始正确的肌力体能训练，事实上帮你的孩子在最后在成长在成人阶段的时候，会跟比较晚介入的，甚至没有介入的，会产生非常大的一个差异。And again, I'm going to mention about more from the health and fitness perspective, the kids who don't play sports or any physical activities. This is the dots that you're going to see, okay? So when you get to the adult hoods, okay, their neuromuscular performance, okay, to be able to do the daily task is going to decline when you get to the adult age. So that is why it's so important to engage in physical activity. 甚至呢，我们再稍微提到，对于一般的所谓 general pop 一般人来说，如果你根本没有做任何的运动啊，你没有做任何平常没有运动习惯的话，你到了成人阶段的时候。你的神经系统的控制，光是面对日常生活能力哦，到了成熟会开始比快开始下降，所以这也就证明了为什么运动习惯对所有人都这么的重要。Okay, so let's take a look at the two benefits of weight training. Like I mentioned, the Peak Force offers training service to a lot of the teenagers in the school system. We train a lot of athletes now in a different discipline. Okay. The reason why we do weight training is not only for them to perform very well, but there's a lot of health benefits. By doing the weight training, we can actually prevent some of the injury that's commonly seen in the teenagers, like in the shoulder, elbow, knees, ankle, because the weight training actually helps to strengthen not only the muscle, but also the tendon and the ligaments. 因为啊，重量训练会帮助你的肌肉啊、韧带啊、结缔组织的发展跟强化，所以也因为这样子呢，会帮助你在各个关节，包括肩膀、手肘、膝盖跟脚踝这些部位的强化，减少运动伤害的可能性。When we talk about the weight training, some parents even ask me, "Oh, the weight training not good because it makes you really tight, okay, bulky, okay." It's not the case. Okay, it actually makes you more flexible by doing a lot of the functional training. Okay, the
the machine exercise I don't recommend for the youth athletes because the machine exercise, first of all, those machines are designed for the adult body. So when the kids try to use, it doesn't fit. But also machine exercise only for the certain range of motion. That is part of the reason that the people think that they get tighter uh, body because you only can move a limited range of motion. 很多人呢刚才提到可能比较矮比较短然后所以不见得适合用机器的第一个第二个更重要的原因是因为机器的训练它只训练某一个角度所以它只训练你某一个角度的时候事实上跟我们所要的这个能力是不一样的我们真的要是一个所谓叫做 so, how to find okay, the correct way to help your kids? Okay? As I mentioned, you have to seek for professional help. Okay? The Google is not your professional help. Okay? You have to have a very good understanding. If you have a very good knowledge, okay, the Google can help you. But I really doubt that the people have that expert's knowledge to determine whether this information is correct or wrong. Right? So you have to seek for professional help with people who have certifications and then also a sufficient amount of experience. 再次呢, 大家都建議大家, 不要輕易的透過Google得到你的答案,除非你是一個知識相當豐富,相當豐沛,非常了解這個領域的人,否則你Google到資訊其實沒有能力做出正確與否的判斷。另外他還是強烈建議去找到你住家附近啊,你能
的这个知识段，也帮助你们的孩子的训练。那同时，他再次的强调呢，希望大家要了解这些知识基础的重要性，而不是只是在 Google 上面找到一些哦似是而非的这些资讯。Okay, and、uh, of course, you know, in a, even in the later days or now, that the, if we have any questions coming in, we would like to answer and help to clear your、uh, questions. 好，不管是现在要问问题，或者是接下来就大家重新看影片之后啊，如果有些问题，请大家随时发，我们都很乐意为大家来解答。So some people say the push up. Um, so will we consider pushba as a kind of a weight training methodology? Weight training, of course. Your body weight is a resistance. We set up a lot of exercise routines using your own body weight. Okay. Some people call it core training, which is to use the core to stabilize your body, but the resistance is your body weight. Okay. Of course, that's a safe and effective if it's done properly. So, Chen Chen, your friend, uh, friend, said that. 伏地挺身算不算是微圈的一种？刚大家知道已经解答了，因为你自身重量本就是重量的一种，所以只要这个指导是在正确的这个教练指导下面呢，透过伏地挺身的训练也是一种重量训练。